The spot landing is one of the toughest things for a pilot to master. Pitch, airspeed, rate of descent, power, all have to be spot on and all are constantly changing. And changing one thing always means adjusting several other things as well. Now imagine you're trying to make a spot landing in a 47,000 pound jet fighter thundering along at 125 knots. And the spot you're aiming for is moving up and down 30 feet and away from you at an angle. Plus, you have to maintain a precise angle of attack to make sure you catch the wire. There you go. Nice. See? Easy peasy. On glide slope, but I'm right of course. So what I have to do now is, I and I have the airplane all stable and, and if touching nothing else, it would fly what I need to. So I bring the stick left. Now I've just dumped some of my lift. I have to bring come back on the stick and add some power. As I get back over, now I've got to correct back again and correct back again. And there are just dozens of corrections, tiny corrections that I'm making to capture that. Two to 300 corrections in the short 18 seconds the fighter is on final to the ship. The truth, nothing easy about it. But by 2020, the Navy's Super Hornets will get a software upgrade that will revolutionize the way aviators fly to the deck. So we've decoupled roll from yaw from pitch. So um, in a normal airplane, they're all related to each other. The Super Hornet is completely fly-by-wire. Control surfaces, flaps, throttles, all commanded by the computer. So when the magic carpet software is enabled, the computer puts the aircraft into a perfect three-degree glide slope at the precise speed needed and keeps it there. The control stick is remapped so the pilot has direct control of the flight path. So when you see a slightly low ball, you just pull back and hold, which is, for aviators, is bizarrely different than how you fly airplanes today. You move the stick to position the aircraft on the glide slope, but pitch never changes. So what Buddy and his team have done is they've linked the position of the trailing edge flaps to the longitudinal stick. But instead of as much the horizontal stab that's driving this up and down piece, it's the, 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 the trailing edge flap is doing this. This is not how hornets normally work. It's changing directly the lift of the wing based on longitudinal, so there's no pitch associated. The other thing that the LSOs have noticed is there's no nose movement on these airplanes. They're stable like this, and they're translating up and down the glide slope because we're not moving the nose, we're moving the, the flaps to change the lift characteristics of the wing dynamically based on the stick. And it makes for better traps and it's pretty impressive. They, from what I've seen, these guys are nailing the three wire every time. So Melissa, it was an amazing uh, experience to go to the carrier and then go get to fly the simulator and uh, wow, what a, what a great piece of technology. It, it looks amazing, so <laughs> a great trip. Yeah, it was and it'll be interesting to see when uh, Magic Car Car Carpet comes online, the difference that it'll make uh, for the pilots and uh, also the guys on the ship. It has to make it easier, I would think. Uh, I Still so. hard. <laughs> That's right.